So the dollar signaling a big higher low, okay? And you look at the trifecta of signals, which would also include oil this morning. So oil down and failing at hedge eye trend, the dollar making a higher low. These are big sirens, like big time, big sirens. The only better buying opportunity in long-term bonds was the one that you had at the end of August. So you get one at the end of September. I mean, this is great. It's not the same price. It's not the same deal. It's not as good, right? It's not like getting Snowflake at $125 a share. It's not like that. Uh, it's more like, you know, just a little bit less good. Uh, utilities are back to bullish trend. I think it supports the same signal. It's one in the same call, uh, which is quad four developing here. Don't forget a higher low in the dollar means we're gonna have some more quad four days in October, some potentially really bad ones. In fact, probably really bad ones. So we wanna play against the old wall like they're a bunch of MIGs, okay? We just wanna shoot them down, boom. Yeah, buy some treasuries, boom. Sell some Apple, boom, boom. You gotta be able to do that. Right? Don't be scared of that. Somebody says, oh, wow, you're really brave. That's not brave. It's just executing on the process. Apple, if you look at today's implied volatility data, has a 15% implied volatility discount. Have yourselves a good day. You sell some of that Apple that you bought. Uh, my, my inkling here is that you probably sold it early because I sold a bunch of stuff too early by a day, maybe a day and a half. We've actually been pretty good on the short side in terms of selection, stock selection in real time alerts, but I'm uh, very much willing to expand that selection of short selling ideas here on the open and you'll see that in real time alerts too.